Hey everyone, it's the Unprint Pro here, and uh, I'm going to be showing you what you're going to be making. Uh, this is the intro part. <laughs> um, I apologize for the actual video. There were some parts that were kind of laggy, and uh, yeah. Anyways, this is what you're going to be making. You can see snow here. Um, which, by the way, apparently resets itself. When you That's weird. Anyway, uh, here's snow, and I'm going to show you the uh, other thing with lightning and thunder and Pokemans with... Dag nabbit! I did not want to click the character creation. Right. <laughs> so, this is what you're going to be learning how to do. You're going to see lightning flash in a second. And, well, watch the tutorial, and I hope you enjoy. Hey everyone, what's up? Sam Pro here, and uh, welcome back to the RPG Maker series. Uh, this is going to be a short little episode, uh, basically controlling weather, because I haven't done that yet. So, this will show you how to control weather. I'm just going to kind of create like a little circle here. Best circle ever. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, to get started, what you want to do is go to the event layer, and uh, set it for either auto run or parallel. No, you actually want to set it for parallel. Um, parallel process. Let's see, where is that? It <clears throat> it's somewhere around here. Set weather effects right here. So it's on tab two. Uh, first, you got rain and you got the power you can control how much it rains. I'm going to show you what it looks like with zero. Maybe. So there's light rain, uh, but you don't obviously you know, you, you, if you don't want it to keep processing, uh, you can do your AC vent afterwards. That way it only happened once. And I'll show you what it looks like on max, and you can kind of play around if you want, like go in between. And it's a lot heavier, and the screen's also darker. Um, so now, uh. Actually, no, I don't know what I'm doing here. Edit. Uh, let's try Storm. Let's show you the lowest. <laughs> As you can see, the rain is kind of longer. Um, oops. <clears throat> By the way, you can also make generic lightning flashes, which I'll show you how to do that too. Now, you know there's no lightning here. Uh, we'll get to the lightning later, though. I'm, first, I'm going to show you the snow. Lowest. Cool. And now, the max. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's uh, have it kind of fade in. See, it starts light, and then it starts to get heavier and heavier. Uh, actually, I want to see how that would look. Hmm. Let's wait for 300 frames and see how long. Let's see how that would look. So, starting to snow, and it gets heavier and heavier. All right. So, let's uh. Let's try the, uh, actually. Okay, let's go back to the storm. Uh, zero. And I'm gonna show you how to make generic lightning flashes. So go to a separate event. <coughs> make it also parallel. Control variables. You're gonna make a new variable called add. Just name it add. Actually, make two variables. Add and make flash. No, no, actually, you just need, you just need add. Yeah, yeah, you just need add. So, make the variable add. Um, click add. <laughs> yeah. By random of 0 to 3. Now, uh, conditional branch. 
if variable add, to make sure you select it, is greater than or, oops, okay, greater than or equal to, uh, say, 300. Hmm. Yeah, 300 is fine. You can increase it, and you know what? Let's actually go back here. Change the 3 to 10. Uh, oops. Go to tab 2, and you want to uh, play a sound effect. Look for thunder. Wait. That's good. Thunder 9. Now you want to do flash screen for actually make it 15 frames. Wait, wait until complete, and then reset the timer. How you do that is you go to tab one, control variables, set, add, back to zero. Let's try how that works. Now, you see it's kind of repetitive. So if you change 0 to 10 to 0 to 30 and make this 1,000, it should... Hmm. Huh. Make it actually 5,000, maybe? <laughs> now, actually, what we're going to do um, is we're also going to add another conditional branch. And you know what? We're going to make two variables this time, actually. What we're going to do is add and add two. Add by a random of 0 to 5. Now, like, like before, uh, conditional branch, if variable add two is greater than or equal to let's do let's do the same thing 5000 we're gonna have a double flash uh, change I just copied and pasted that uh, change add on this one if you copy and pasted it to add to so set add two to zero now we're gonna do that and then we're gonna do like that Oh? Alright. What? Why you know? Put that in else, maybe? I don't know why it's not working. Oh, this needs to be in a separate event. Plus it's 5,000, man. Um, but anyways, yeah, make that in a separate event. Change it from 5,000 to 3,000. Uh, yeah, let's try 3,000. It is literally 2.03 in the morning. <laughs> it's my fault. It's why I'm kind of tired. I'm commentating correctly. Why are you lagging? So there's one lightning flash. It's not, I, I guess it's because I'm probably getting something. Weird. Shouldn't be lagging. Probably because I'm using Bandicam. It should double flash here soon. We'll see. Again, like, I, I apologize for the lag. Might have to reformat in the future. Um, hmm. Okay, so never mind the double flash, because now that I think about it, it would kind of interact with itself. Or, 
not interact with itself. Um, it, it wouldn't make sense. <laughs> uh, all right. So let's see. There's that, and I'm gonna go ahead and off screen and make a few other things. Be right back. Actually, you know what? I'm not just gonna load the sample. So, that's that for now, and I'm going to make an intro video, and I'll see you guys later.